Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about order management. By default on Quantopian, there's no limit to how much money you can borrow and invest in your algorithm. But in practice, this isn't realistic. So we're going to take a look at how to control the amount of money that you invest. All right, let's take an example of a relatively illiquid security, XTL. And in front of me, I have an algo that uses order target percent to rebalance our portfolio to be 100% long in XTL each minute. It also prints our cash at the end of each minute by using the cash property of the portfolio object. So I'm going to go ahead and build my algorithm. And if I scroll down in the logs, we can see that the cash drops below zero by a significant amount. This means that we're investing borrowed money, which in some cases might be what we want to do. But for this example, let's say that we only want to invest what we have in our starting capital base. So first, let me explain why this is happening. Because you might be thinking, oh, I ordered 100% of my portfolio value, why is it ordering more? And the answer is, as we saw in our last lesson with slippage, an order can sometimes take more than a bar to fill, which is what's happening here. Now, as to why we're ordering more than we expected, it really boils down to the fact that order target percent does not incorporate open orders in its calculation of how many shares to order. As a result, using order target percent or any of the order methods that order to a target is going to lead to overordering. In turn, overordering is going to lead to a bunch of open orders left over at the end of the day. If I scroll down a little further in the logs, I can see all of these open orders at the end of the day getting canceled. This is because in both backtesting and live trading, all open orders are canceled at the end of the day. To prevent overordering, we can use the function getOpenOrders to find which securities we've placed orders for that have not yet been filled. So I'm just going to add to my code openOrders equals getOpenOrders, which is going to get me a dictionary of open orders keyed by securities. So then I can just add before I order if security not in open orders. And this will mean that I don't have an open order already with the security I'm about to order. And now, when I build my algo and I look at the cash, I can see that I'm no longer investing crazy amounts of money. Alright, so that's it for managing orders. Be sure to try this out yourself.